One of the things that computers can be used for very effectively is modeling. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on a project um, where we model a biological system. So another thing that programmers often do is they plan before they actually hit the, the computer. So this is actually my planning document, kind of small. We'll be using a few of these note cards and hopefully my daughter won't mind that I'm stealing her note cards. So here's my idea for a program. <sighs> My idea is that um, it's kind of a field, and on the field, grass will start to grow, in this case, blue grass, and it will grow randomly at various locations. So one thing I need to have in terms of variables, I'm gonna keep track of the variables that I'm gonna need. One variable I'm gonna need is how much grass. So variables, and I'm gonna say grass count. So um, I'm gonna need to tr keep track of how much grass I have and how much grass I can have. So like max grass too. Because I don't want my field to be flooded with grass. I want it to only have a certain amount of grass. But I want it to sprout randomly. So eventually my field will become covered with grass, um, a maximum amount of grass. The next thing I want to have happen is I want little guys to show up. I'm gonna call them gigas. And because I'm such a great artist, I'm going to make them look like this. And these guys are going to uh, show up and move around the field at a random, in a random way. I also want them to bounce off the edges. So if they hit an edge, if one of my guys hits an edge, I want him to bounce back. Um, I want to create a button that will launch more of them. So basically like a, an add giga button. So I'm gonna create an add giga button. And when I hit this button, more of these little guys are gonna show up. Now what these guys do is they move around and they eat the grass. So, um, and they also can't, they also have an age. So I need to create some variables for them too. So let's see, uh, these are gonna be grass variables up here. These are all about grass, and these are all going to be about gigas. So I'm going to have giga variables, and for each giga, I'm going to have um, age, local. I'm just reminding myself that, that has to be a local variable because each giga has his own age. Um, they're also going to eat the grass and gain energy, so I need to have energy, local which is how much energy, how much power they have, really. Um, and uh, they also need to live a certain amount of time, so there's a longevity. And I may change these variable names, but how long do they live? That is not going to be a local variable. This is important. I want all the gigas to live the same amount of time. Um, they're all going to die at different times because their age is local, but their longevity is going to be something that um, they all share. And then I also want them to be able to have children. So, uh, you know, number, let's see, I guess age, they have kids. That too is going to be not local. That's gonna be a global variable. And how many kids, how many kids does each one have? Uh, sort of like, you know, bunnies or whatever. They don't have a gazillion kids. They have a certain number of kids. So these are things that I need to think about. Um, what else? Uh, well, when they eat the grass, there has to be energy in the grass. How much energy comes from the grass? And then the gigas are going to gain that energy. Uh, let me think, what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So what I want is my little gigas to march around the screen, okay, eat the grass, and when they have grass, they, their energy goes up, when they don't have grass, they can starve to death. So there are a couple of ways that these gigas need to be able to die. One is um, starvation. So maybe when they're starving, they will say something like, starving, and then they'll die, okay? And then another way that they can die is of old age. Old, and then you'll die. And then the other thing I want them to be able to do is have children, which is how I mentioned how many kids they have. So if they achieve a certain age, I want them to have children. And maybe when they have children, they'll say, parent, yay. 
Um, it's just that easy being a parent. That's all, you, that's all there is to it. And then when they are a parent, more of the gigas will show up. So this guy just became a parent, so all I'm, I'm going to make a couple of more gigas just show up, okay? Um, and maybe let's say that each, ch each uh, giga can have four children. So I'm gonna, to remind myself of that, write four of them. So this kind of became the offspring. Okay. Another thing I want in my program is I want to have a count, sort of like a constant count of grass and a constant count of gigas. So let's see if I've kind of figured this out. Um, oh, here's another variable I probably need to figure out, which is how fast do these guys move? The faster they move, if they were to move really fast, then they could obviously eat the grass really fast. So for gigas, one of the variables that I need to create, another global variable, I think, is giga speed. All right, so I've kind of planned out my program here. I'm gonna have grass show up at a certain rate, um, or actually not necessarily a certain rate, but a max count of them. So I've got how much grass I will have. I have a max grass and I have energy in grass. They're gonna show up at random places. The gigas, um, they're going to show up when I click this plus button, a new giga will show up, and then they're gonna start moving around randomly. They're gonna eat the grass, which means the grass can die. All right, so I need to make sure that the grass can actually die. That's sort of my reminder of that. Um, and I guess when, it, when some grass dies, new grass will form as long as it's under the grass count, all right? Um, and my gigas can die too. They can die of old age. They can die of starvation. Um, and they can become parents. And if they become parents, they will have offspring, a certain number of offspring. So I have the age of my gigas, and that's a local variable. Every, every giga that's created is gonna have their own age. The energy that they have currently in storage, and when they're born, they better have a default amount of energy. They can't be at zero or they'll be instantly dead, right? Um, longevity is gonna be the same for all of them. Age that they have kids can be the same for all of them. How many kids they have, is gonna be the same for all of them and how quickly they move. All right, so this is basically my program. Then a few design elements. I wanna make sure that this button does all the good stuff that a button should do, like fade in and fade out and you know all the things that we've learned about in terms of user interface design. Um, all right, this is my plan of my program and this will really help me organize my thoughts.